Here we are, once again, this time with audio from everybody, I believe. Hello. 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 Uh, welcome to Bears and Dragons. Welcome to Bears and Dragons, uh, the game where uh, a bunch of us in ADS bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, previously, uh, if you didn't, didn't know, uh, what happened last night? Dad. Guys went down a, a, a drainage pipe. He fought some people. Got a captive. Burger. Yep. Got a captive. Found some information about who was trying to kill people. Uh, we found a connection to the uh, other the caves and the sewers. Mm -hmm. With the drainage yeah. pipe. Mm -hmm. Um, it's at a assassination attempt. Ah, uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, we found out the guy that was trying to kill some people was actually a Stone Guard member. And once we brought the information to the captain, they were able to apprehend that person and thwart future assassinations. But one was already in the works, so we went and stopped it in time. Um, the guy's name was uh, Where's Salt Baron? We saved him, and uh, Henry, like, he thanked us and all, and was rushing off quickly. But he told us to meet him at the Shattered Spire because he might have some need of our assistance. Um, slight addendum he said tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, but not the same day. So you guys are are back are, are done. Uh we're talking to some of the Duragar guards, uh, who gave a little drug. They were a little miffed by the fact that outsiders basically did their job for them. Talk the to you here. and you are now Free to go about yep. your business. And we leveled up. Just thought that was important. Everybody is level seven. <clears throat> um, well, I don't know about you guys. Uh, are we still in the same spot? Yes. I don't know about you guys. But I need a drink. I, I think that's on par for you. But yeah, we can we can head back to the lair. Uh -huh. That man should be safe for now. At least he seemed to be. I just start walking back. Like a little heroic type march. I feel good about myself. Just this uh, thought to the assassination. Yeah. Today you said, you you said that uh, when they stabbed that guy, the blades that they used just kind of disappeared? Yep. Yeah. anyone like uh, pays attention to Roderick like during the whole time he he seems like he's there but he's not like he's just checked out I was about to say want me to roll like perception check or whatever no no it's very visible okay, look you you'll notice yeah <laughs> what's yeah, your, what's your passive Lassiter? 20. Yeah, you yeah, notice. You, def you definitely notice, but it's like he's not hiding it or anything. It's like he's literally zoned out and there's just not fully aware of. Yeah. Are we? Are you sitting like in the bar stools? In the lair? 
I think we're currently just walking. Yeah, we were walking. Oh. Okay, I didn't know if we had made it back there. Yeah, I was saying this like as we were walking back, this was happening. Uh, as you were walking back, you do see uh, what looks to be some or uh, two Durgar bar guards are beating on a uh, merchant. I mean, some, on a mer something about a accusations of heresy. Mm. Yeah. Hey guys, uh, the guy's getting beat up. Point and laugh. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> Point and laugh. <laughs> Sarah so will will we'll we'll call out. Hey, what are you, what are you doing to him? Ah, shut up, lass. This isn't any of your business. This is very true. We should keep on going. Looking around, you do see some bystanders just kind of looking along, surprised, concerned, but they don't seem to be doing anything. I think none of our business. Everyone else thinks so as well. How bad is the beating? Uh, pretty bad. So are we like seeing this from afar? Like we're like walking up towards it. Mm hmm. As soon as it get within range, we summon an astral arm and just catch an arm. All right, roll me a. Well, they're doing it behind the stall. Uh, and there are some bind standards kind of surrounding it, so you kind of have to get past them. So you would but have I'm to purposely get towards them. Like, I'm using my astral arm. Right, which is like You're... 10 feet, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're not within 10 feet. Well, once they get within, mm -hmm. like... Within... Yeah, you would have to get past some bystanders and get, a, like, basically... Yeah. The counter so, yeah, is I'm... about 5 feet, and they're on the other side. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk up and just, like, just really... Still, like the whole time, just kind of not there. While you're walking up, uh, I'll just say, Roger, this really is none of our business. We should probably just go. I know you're not listening, but yeah, that's still just why I say. All right. Uh, what is it? Dexterity save? Uh, I think it's wisdom. Oh. Or. Is it Dex? For what? It's it's Dex when you summon it. For your arms. Can I make it so that doesn't hurt anyone? Well, this is more to see... Let's see. Actually, just roll me an attack roll. Oh, damn, that's not a nat 20. I thought that was a nat 20. Nope. It was just a decent roll. I just have really great deaths or <laughs> wisdom. Yeah, I saw 23 and just saw, oh, oh shit, nat no, 20. No, I have a plus 8. <laughs> yeah. So you grapple uh, one of their their arms, and and the other one continues with the beating. The, the one that you grabbed in the arm just looks over at you with very mean eyes and casts in large. Go ahead and roll me a strength save. Actually, a strength check. So then I'll be able to use my wisdom since yes. my arms are out. Alright. So... His arm starts to expand, but your grip uh, stays tight on him. And he pulls out his uh, war pick and attacks you. Uh, 15, does that hit? Nope. So you, you kind of dodge out of, the, out of the way. And like with as much venom in my eyes, like maybe they like they kind of do sometimes just glow and stuff and just be like, that is enough this is none of your business outsider and he makes another attack 
17? No. Could I, wow. Could I uh, cast a spell? And while this is happening? Um, yeah, go ahead. Gonna cast Suggestion? And say, maybe it would be a good idea to stop uh, to the one guard that's uh, enlarged. Maybe it's a good idea to just walk away. I'm going to go to the one continuing to beat the guy. And I want to put him to sleep. All right. Uh, is it a wisdom save? Wisdom save of 15. Okay, what was the suggestion again? Uh, maybe it's a good idea to just walk away. The uh, door guard suddenly shrinks down, just starts walking away. Uh, he starts going to walk away, but Roderick still is holding him. Do you let go? I'll let go. Yeah, right, like roll, me, roll me the uh, sleep die. I'm going to do this at level two. So that would be what? 78. Um, just, just to let you know, I'm, I'm still back away from everyone. I, I didn't walk up or anything. Right. Right. He is the one that's beaten. There's one final punch, but the punch isn't really that hard. And then he falls over to sleep. The merchant is a bloody pulp and looks to be unconscious. I'll take a um, one of my um, potions of healing and uh, pour it down his will it. I'm not going to worry about a bad roll for this. Uh, Easily put it in, and we're just like. <coughs> what do you do? They're gonna leave you alone now. But what? what? Sarah kind of crouched down to him. Was, what what was happening? Why were they attacking you? Um, one of the bystanders, uh, say. He, he's wearing some sort of gold pin inside his collar, and he, he looks inside, and it's just this, just a gold pin. Nothing special about it. Any design on it? Um, it it just looks kind of like a, uh, uh, some sort of uh, like, uh, stone of some type. It's not really doesn't really have much of a design. Uh, but just feels like it's something to do with stone. Hey, um, for notes purposes, uh, did you ask him like why they were beating him up? Not yet. I did. Um, I did. did I kneel down and ask him why? Did, why? Yeah. Why were they beating on you? And with the bystander. Because oh, of the because of his pen. Oh, okay. Um, I'm I'm still like behind the crowd or whatever. Um, so I'm not actually hearing all this, but I figured that maybe I should start taking notes. Should I, should I just take notes from my point of view or I don't know. I suck. At However that. you want to take notes. How take I notes. do it is just like a general, like it's not Roderick's notes. They're Dustin's notes. So it's just very much a broad overview of what's going on. That's how I do it. If you want it to be Lassiter's notes, more than welcome to do it. His Lassiter journal before he uh, passes, or before uh, you and, and Ront uh, get it on, or because I'm sure you pass out after you do. Um, maybe in the morning, you, I don't know. It, does, does Lassiter journal at all? Yeah. I don't know. It's up to you. You do you. Uh, the it says well, normally uh, uh, having some sort of adornment isn't necessarily something that's 
smiled upon here, kind of frowned upon exactly, but uh, beating somebody to a pulp, that's not normal. How did this begin? We walked up to the beating already happening. But... Uh, just one of them had, had pointed at him, called him a heretic, and the two just started beating on him. Only uh, we stay out of this. We don't get, want to get in trouble with the stone cart. I um, release my astral arms and all like with. We'll bring this to the stone guard captain's notice. Kind of showing them a... our badge. It was like this shouldn't what's, go. What's your name, sir? Or... It's Janessa. Not going to remember this name ever because this is an unimportant NPC. <laughs> so in three episodes, make sure to ask about this PC NPC. <laughs> Got it. If you have a safe place to stay for the night, I, I, I think that would be best for you. Else, these people come after you again. Uh, you you feel a sorry. You feel a tap in your shoulder. And then look. Turn around, and there's a uh, stone guard there saying, It might not be normal, lass, but this is something to stay out of. This, no, this might not be normal, but. There's something to stay out of. Okay. Sorry, I. Couldn't hear the last part. I was like, "What?" I'm sorry. I'm deaf. I'm sorry. Sorry, I wasn't speaking a lot enough for my mic to pick it up. I don't know when the tube. Uh. Okay. So what was said? So you <laughs> might want to stay out of this. Oh, okay. It might not be commonplace for this to happen, but still, just stay out. Okay. Give one little, one last look at the guy and just. Everyone yeah. seems to, uh. Kind of going her way and clearing off. And... He's kind of like. Kind of taking his pin and kind of like putting it into like a more hidden place. It seems important to him, but it doesn't really seem important to anybody else. It's just maybe on Lucky Charm or something. Could I have seen the pin from where I'm standing? Yeah, it was pointed out. And you would definitely have probably seen it through the crowd. You got a good passive. Okay. Uh, oh. I shall. Are you guys done over there? For now. I'm sure this will come up later, but. Uh, as you're uh, walking towards the, towards the lair, uh, you do see a you, you do see uh, a familiar Darrow with a hat with tentacles on it uh, come rushing uh, rushing past from one alley to a, to another, accidentally bumping into a, to a merchant. Merchant, he just kind of like spins around and and, and like mumbles something in dwarvish. <laughs> and uh, continues on his way. Uh, was was that a Droki? This is definitely Droki. Run, bitch, run! Get him! Um, <laughs> what was our mission? We were just to gather information or bring him to Chunky Boy, right? Oh, the keepers. Did the keepers mention? Um. Yeah, but Chunky Boy wants us to to give him the information him before for... we. They he just want they want us to get the location of the Grey Ghost using Joki. I could have sworn someone told us to bring him. 
back. I'm sorry, get information or bring him back and they'll question him. I, I don't know. But um okay, well Yeah, Eric uh the Stogard did did mention that he wanted you to watch you follow Jerky, see what he does, where where he goes and report back. Uh, or if you see an opportunity, you seize him and either bring him in for questioning or kill and bring back evidence of his activities. Um, Which we did bring back evidence of his activities with, with the letters of the assassination. Well, uh, he, he's here. Uh, Want to like try to capture him real quick? Maybe? Yes. Um... Oh, did you say he was talking to a stone guard? No, he ran into it. Uh, he bumped into somebody. He turned around and it looked like he apologized. And then, then kept going. Ah, okay. Uh, we follow him? Uh, Roderick, do you, do you want to run after him? I was just about to say, I can do that. All right, I'm, I'm no, casting I... haste on you. All right. I'm casting invisibility on you. <laughs> Really? Invisibility and haste. You got this. I run. Okay. And as after I cast after I cast haste, I'll uh, snap my finger to summon Silva. And I'll tell her, you know, fly up into the streets and, and keep a watch on him from up there. All right. I'll so, start. So that quickly flies up. Uh spots the the Darrow. And uh, nimbly, uh, uh, Roderick, you go, you go flying through, following exactly the, the catching eye on him, and you could easily jump him. Um, at the last minute, I'm gonna summon my astral arms and then grab him. Right, roll me in a. a uh, Roll me a wisdom check because it's going to be with your arms. <laughs> um, at advantage. I have to use guidance or bless. Which All right, perfect. Does. Okay, cool. Uh, your ass, you pop out of invisibility, Lasser. You feel your spell drop, and um, uh, you you are in a fast motion. And you grab and uh, have a firm grip on Jerky, who's currently wiggling in your arms. We have been looking for you. No, oh, let me go. I need it. I'm late. I'm late. Well, you're gonna be late because we got some business with you, good sir. And I'll start. Head, I'll start running back towards the group. <laughs> uh, a few seconds later, because of how quick you're moving. Moving. Um I'll take like ten seconds. <laughs> uh, uh you come back uh with these astral arms holding a, a very squirmy Darrow uh in his arms. Good job. Well, let's 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 get him get him tied up before the spell ends. Please. Uh he's he's quite squirming. <laughs> Can you put him to sleep? I can. So I shall. So we're going to do this to make sure he actually goes to sleep. We're going to go at third level this time. Why not? Um. Let's see. Uh, easily, uh, uh, the the Daryl goes. Eh, eh. I'll Roderick start pulling up. Goes. Uh, I was gonna start blinking his that. eye and be like, takes it off. <laughs> well, I was gonna say you're you're gonna feel a little a little rough in just a second here, Roderick. Just shake it off. It's fine. Face is, I, I've face felt is gonna. Before. I felt this before. His face is gonna wear off. Well, it's not just haste. It's also the yeah. extra s spilt over to Roderick, who is holding him. And but 
he has enough HP that it doesn't actually put yeah. him to sleep. So I'm gonna I am and gag him so he can't go screaming for help. Uh okay. Well th- this happened pretty quickly. Um should we take him with us to like the what is it called? Tavern or something? Layer. Uh, yeah. Um and wait until tomorrow to take him? Or should we just go take him to the stone guard? Well, we can why not we try to get some information out of him first. Right. And then if that doesn't work, then we can turn him into the stone guard and have them get the information for us. Hopefully. Uh, so take him to the lair with us? Yeah. Okay. I'll just do rounds. I want to make sure... Well, if we're taking him back to our lair where we're staying, I don't want him to see where we're staying. So I'm blind well, it, it's the only inn that we could stay at. It's just called the lair. Oh, well, I know, but... Maybe we shouldn't, like... What is the lair... Just a, a public place. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, it's maybe, maybe it's not a good idea for us to bring uh, captive back to a public place, tied up little person, um, to a inn to take him to a room. Uh, maybe someone would like question that. Uh, so maybe would it, would it be a good idea to like untie him and just act like oh, he had too much to drink? We're just gonna bring him up to our room. That's even no, because I don't because other people know this person too. Yeah, I mean he has we'll a flash our badges. I think I think turning him in would be the best thing because. Yeah, but we still need to get information for the uh, fire folk. Oh, we don't have to take him back to where we're staying. We can just take him to a random lonely corner where no one's going to bother Even us. Even the alley where you are or something? Yeah, because I'd rather him not know exactly where we're staying or have other people witness, you know, us taking this captive back. Okay, well, this that... afraid because I mean he's he's part of a a thieves den that is trying to oh. assassinate random people. I don't want them to come for us when we're sleeping. Us or our or the okay. NPCs. At the moment, all we would all we know is that he's like an informant or some a uh, a mail carrier. Person. Well, he's in a in a supplier of. You know, like drugs and materials and stuff like that. They were using down below. Roger, what do you want to do? We have, we still have Gage and Holly. What, what do they look like? They want to do. Gage just says, "I'm here for your protection. What do you wish?" You are. I feel like. Take him back to our inn. Just try to get some information. Might be the best. First, and then kind of just go from there. Because even though we've done, we're in favor with the Stone Guard, doesn't automatically mean we're going to get information from them once they have Joki. So we should try to get information first. All right. Uh, and if we, if, if he does figure out where we are and we feel like that's a problem, we can just take care of him. Uh, 
unless that's not your thing. Yeah. I wouldn't put murder on the table quite yet. Yes, we they, it was a dead or alive situation, but once that if we don't have any information once dead, we won't get the information. Right, right. All right, well, let's go. He's asleep. Uh, we're close by to our place, then. Let's go. Let's uh, make sure we have people on him 24-7, or however long the days last here. And they... Oh. Well, why only picture. seven days a week? I mean, there's 10. 24-10, you mean? 24-10 days. 24-10, yep. All right, no, so we... where, do you, where do you take them? To the lair. Okay, so you go into the lair, big tavern area, uh, stool, jumps off the stool, gets all excited, asks about, like, what, who's this guy? <laughs> Just a buddy that we picked up. We're going to take him to a room, okay? Uh, our DM's dying. Don't worry, Stool is immortal. Yeah. Okay. You gonna take it to our room? Yeah. Yeah. I'll help guard. Good job. With you, I know that Nothing will get by us. Yeah. He comes out when you take you goes through Roderick and Stool's room. Oh, what are you gonna do? He's still asleep. Hey, Sarah, how long does that last? Just a minute. Well, he should be awake by the time he gets there. <laughs> yeah, so we just kind of like Holly probably just fire and carried, yeah. carried him out, or out, and he's squiggling. And Holly's just rolling her eyes, eyes every time she tries to to squirm out. Oh, so well. throw him on a bed, or I don't know what do you do with him. Yeah, throw him on the bed. He throws him on the bed. He's there squirming. Um. He's got this okay. big hat hat with the, these big old tentacles coming off of him. He's got a satchel. Got some fancy boots. Um, I'm gonna cast suggestion when he when he's on the bed. He, he's awake, right? Yeah, he's awake. I'm gonna cast suggestion and say, if I were you. I would tell us everything we want to know. I totally forgot you have more than two spell slots. Yeah. You, 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 could, you could also say, I suggest that you tell us everything that you know. Yeah, same thing. All right. Wisdom save of 15. All right. Oh, he's failing. It's a negative one. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> his his eyes just glaze over, and he just kind of like stops. And we're gonna take the gag out, mm -hmm. and my buddies here are gonna ask you a few questions. I take the gag out, and go ahead, guys. Rookie, where 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 is the current location of the gray ghosts? Uh, he describes where <clears throat> where they're located, and uh, you've been there. Big patch of mushrooms, alchemy lab, mm -hmm. entrance was through a drainage pipe, as well as the regular route, the world stone tunnels. We've like been that there. Are they farther into the caves? Not that I'm aware of. Doesn't know anything. 
It's just a message. Why? Why? Why was the merchant targeted for assassination? What merchant? Like which and one? He doesn't, he doesn't know anything about it, or uh, he doesn't know anything about it. Cult. Okay. Uh, uh, where where's salt burned? Who's where it's salt burned? Buried. Okay. Do you are you aware of any of the recent activity that the Grey Ghosts have been up to. No, I just filled your things. Are you Droki? Yes. Are you under... What it, are you connected? <laughs> we were about to say, are you under any spell? <laughs> when weren't you? Are you connected at all to the Demi Gorgon and their their plans of kind of corrupting the Aaron Gorm uh, people there, the giants? Who's Demi Gorgon? Do you know where you are? Crackle Stoog. He's like, oh my nerves. I feel like he's lying. <laughs> You're not asking the right questions. Or he just doesn't know the answers to these questions. No, but like, there's no way we can actually be sure. Well, he's telling us everything he knows. He's under a spell. Wait. Did I? I still stupidly did not learn Zone of Truth. Yeah, but you shouldn't have to for <laughs> Maybe this. tomorrow. <laughs> and Zone of Truth doesn't actually make them tell you everything. Yeah, but I Yeah, but he... he, he, he could, yeah, he, he, and uh, they could... He, he, he'd probably fail the wisdom. He'd throw for that, too. Yeah, that's what wisdom number five. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I mean, and he can speak around the truth. Um, he could just not say anything. Uh, but suggestion is probably the better of this because he's yeah, that's, that's what I'm he's saying. Telling like, the he's, truth. Um, he's he's, he's not yeah. very good at deception. Is there any packages you still have left to deliver? Uh. Yes. Oh, I was that's thinking. that's his answer. Was yes. <laughs> May we have it and help you with it? No. <laughs> the suggestion doesn't mean no. compels him to to accept. You haven't charmed him. He's you just suggest for him to tell you everything he knows. He knows that he won't do it. Who are who are all the clients that you're currently working for? The great ghosts. Some, some creepy guys. And some other people. Council of Savants. Well, did he just say a name? Council of Savants. We know that name. Right? Yep. It, isn't that... Stone Guard people. What do you know about the Stone Guard? They're police. They're rough. Don't get in their way. That's it? 
Okay. That's it. Just, just trying to make sure people wasn't dirty or anything. What about the keeper of the f- keepers of the flame? Oh, uh, Wormsmith. Help. They 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 help. They appease Wormsmith. Okay. They're clean too. Back on this Council of Savant, right? Savant's thing. What do you know about them? Please hold. Right. Do, do, do. I'll reach um, into Droki's satchel and grab whatever's in there. Uh, someone uh, get there, are, to... there are savants. Most, most got room body. Some in tunnels. Is there a way... So you've been... You've been supplying them with the same things that you've been supplying the Grey Ghosts? No. Different what do you things. supply them? What do you supply to Savants? Problem. Let me get here. Uh, deliver scroll pouches to savants in tunnel. How do scrolls you get... and see scrolls and pouches. Gave dark metal to great ghosts. I know he's saying important things, but I feel like he doesn't know what these things are. No, I mean he's basically he's basically a runner. He's not like a, so quick. He's a supplier. Quick note: searching his bag, uh, Roderick, you find uh, one gold piece, ten silver pieces, a spell scroll of sea invisibility, uh, two potions of healing. A uh, mithril medallion uh, set with a uh, carving depicting an arrow breaking a shield. And a potion in an hourglass. Give everything to Syra. Uh, You also find worthless collection of dead vermin. Spiders, centipedes, and the like. (laughs) Various states of decomposition. And a lizard skin parchment held together between two leather covers, uh, which looked like they're probably from different books. How do you get in contact with whomever you're doing business with? Specifically the Grey Ghosts and the uh, Council. I talk yeah. to them. How? I go up to them and I speak. Where? <laughs> in tunnels. Sometime in cities. Is it different tunnels or cities every time? Do Do you get a message where to meet them? Tunnels. Tunnels are in, tunnels the same place. Do you? Do you speak to the same person in the, on the council every time? Sometimes. What's his name? Narek. Eric or Derek? Merrick. 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 A R R A K. I am. Nope. 
That's a, that's an N, not an M. Mirror. I unfurl the little squirrel parchment thing. No, lizard skin parchment? Yeah. So it's kind of like a book. Um, inside there, it looks like it's full of mad scribbles and arcane formulas. I might be thinking of another campaign or someone else's campaign, but did we have to return a wizard wizard's book to someone? Okay. It might be another campaign. My bad. Yeah. Um So he had the scroll, healing potions, an hourglass, the pe 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 of uh of parchment. And what else? So oh, and, and gold, silver. Got this. Got. Oh, yeah. I'm going to write all that down. And a potion and uh, potion and hourglass. The potion hair looks empty, but feels like it's holding liquid. Okay. So I'll, if anyone doesn't mind, I'll keep that too. I'll keep all this stuff to kind of identify it. And... Um, I have a line of questions for Droki, but they pretty much can be summed up. I believe like... you've got eight hours. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you've got time. <laughs> what did much... you deliver to the Grey Ghost? Uh, strange lump of black metal. Did the metal have any sort of design to it? No, it's just a lump of black metal. Isn't that what we found? Did we find that? I think we found like a. No, we found a bunch of potions. Um, we, sometime after getting to the city, Roger wanted to go shopping. No, I'm talking about from when we went to the Great Goat, when we were, like, the place that we, like, where the Alchemists were, where we now just found out where is the Great Ghosts were. Yeah. Didn't we find a lump of metal? Yep. Okay. Um... So oh, he yeah, succeeded in his delivery to it. Hmm? So he succeeded in his delivery of the lump of black metal. Oh, yeah, there it um, is. This is my bag of holding. Can you... Could that, you show us... Oh, go ahead. That coin that the merchant sold to Roderick, like, when we got to the city, mm -hmm. does, it, does that look like a... I don't know, a piece of metal that we found? Nope. Um, could, you show, could you show us to the tunnels into the Council of Savants? Yes. Uh, uh, just because he can does not mean he will. I can't make him Dude. Where did the strange metal come from that you were delivering? Uh, uh, delivery from outside of Grackle's Speak. I picked it up, took it to them. Um, so the only questions I have left are like, uh, the names of the people that he specifically talks to. 
regarding the ghosts and the uh, council, uh, w like where he meets them and when, like how frequently. Uh, so Nerik was his contact with the, the council savants. The gray ghost was Lorthio, alchemist. Uh, he did get a message from a stone guard named Gorlack. It, I'm sorry, if it's possible, either slow down while you're talking because I cannot take notes that quickly, or just type it out. All right. So you already have Neric, right? For the console of Savants. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, Lorthio, his contact is an alchemist. Al alchemist. Gregos. Which did we kill him, or did we turn him in? Was he the one that we turned in? I think he's the one you turned in. Okay. You knocked him unconscious, took him up the pipe, and took him to the stone guard. Right. Okay. Stone guard. So he's crossed off. Oh, yeah. We did find out that... Did... Did we find out that someone in the Stone Guard was a traitor or whatever? Yeah, you had entire entire uh, paper message. Yeah, or message saying that. Is that the name that was on there? You know this one. I don't Gorg need your potion Black. anymore. I'll deal with Verse Saltberry myself. Bring me an elf blade, one with the swirlies carved in the steel, and I'll forget you failed me. You don't want to see my see any of your goons near my post. Captain is poking around, and I could use a safe token. I think when we're done with all this interrogation, we need to talk to uh, Thermochad about all this, because the Stone Guard is more and more becoming... Uh... Well, as far as you know, there's only one really corrupt Stone Guard. When there's one, well, there's multiple. Well, at least two, because we have... Gorgolak and his captain. Oh no, the captain. Why is the captain corrupt? No, no, I, I misread it. Yeah. Um, you got a dirty er, cop. Er, er, yeah, so you you gave that this note to Ernie, uh, the Stonor Guard captain, and she's furious. She's basically taking care of that. Um. I don't know if you just didn't hear me or you just don't have this information right now, but I also need when and where. Um, he gives you, a, it's it's pretty much just when he can. Uh, he makes stops at the at the uh, two places down in uh, the World Stone Tunnels. Um, he frequents the docks whenever he needs to pick something up or one of them. Uh, he goes to... Uh, He goes to one of the outer gates uh, near the Dark Lake District uh, to meet. That's where he met up with Gor Gorglack. Uh, there has been frequent communications between the uh, Grey Ghosts and Gorglack. Gorglack. Okay. Yeah. Anyone else has any, have anything? Any ideas? Uh, Sarah is actually going to say, well, if I think I'm out of questions for him at the moment, but I think I'll spend the night examining these items, doing some investigating on this. Um, I guess I can go to keep, uh, Thurman Shard and the Keepers and let them know what we found so far. Right now or tomorrow? Right now might be where, like, we have no reason as of right now not to go. What time of day would we assume it is? 
Uh, you've been up for several hours, but eh, you got probably got got some time. Uh, on the surface, you would estimate that's probably like mid afternoon. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, that, that could work. Uh, maybe someone to maybe three people should keep an eye on this guy, and uh, some uh, Roderick, you go let whomever know that he's here. Uh, either you come back with them um, so they can take him or you come back with information on what they want us to do with him. Maybe. Just give you that information. Uh, uh, Sarah's going to dismiss herself and I guess head up to her own room and just start examining her. All right. Uh, Holly and Gage will basically uh, take watch Berkey. Okay. I was going to suggest me raw and stool, but okay. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, that won't work too. Uh, uh, that's fine. It, it's, it's just that um, I don't have anything else, anything in mind or whatever. All right, so uh, we'll start off with some identification. The potion you identify as the potion of invisibility. Okay. Uh, the hourglass is pretty, but not magical. The medallion, give me a religion check. Really? Why is it not my? Wah, wah. All right, you actually, you, you, it takes you a bit. You're like, I've seen this before. And you realize you've seen it around town. Um, and at, especially at a location known as Ladugar's fit, uh, a Pharaoh, this is the holy symbol for Ladugar. Uh, and then you remember something where it's like, oh, wait a minute. The keepers. Keepers of the Flame have a similar item. It's a little bit different because it also has 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 a, a symbol of Thembertrot on the back. Or the face of Thembertrot on the back, but, or actually a red dragon. Not sure if it's Thembertrot or not. Uh, but on the other side, and when you look at your yours, you see that the front has the same symbol. And that's the uh, arrow breaking on a shield. Yep. Uh, it takes you about an hour of looking at this lizard skin parchment. Um, and it, it, it doesn't quite make sense to you, but you think it's arcane in nature. Can you make me a... Uh, uh, you're proficient in their account, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so right, easily enough, you'll be able to um, you'll be able to tell that this in contains a really weirdly written version of two spells: Enter's Floating Disc and Feign Death. It's kind of like a spell book, but it only has this. And feign death. Yep. Okay. Um, so while there, while it was Roderick that was going out. Roderick, you were going to Thembertrod? Yeah. Okay. So. You're slowly making your way through the city, cross over Ludigar's Pharaoh, uh, eventually uh, passing the hold of the Deep King, and make your way down to uh, the lair. 
You see uh, two Durgar in the uh, in the vestments. Of the vestments of uh, in the vestments of the flame guard, and uh, they they see you. They know that you're you're helping them trot out. And they just let you pass. Who's gonna get through anyway? Yep. No. <laughs> and you walk down the hall. And you come up to see the chonky red dragon in what looks to be the middle of the meal, but he seems to be, like, savoring it, kind of just leaning back in his pile of treasure. Licks his fingers. Ah. Roderick, is it? What can I do for you? I've come up with some information in regards to what the keepers are having us do. Yeah, what is that? Well, what general <laughs> thing are you expositing? Pretty much the um the whole um gist of what they're having us do. Yeah. And what we've found so far, and that we've kind of like seemingly taken care of, what well, of these other great ghosts that we found, and then show them the lump of metal. He he looks at the metal and and he he looks at the metal, sniffs it. Well, this is from the Grey Ghost. Yes, gray sir. Ghosts don't seem to be ones that would have anything that's magic -y thing that the, the keepers are trying to do. I think they're barking up the wrong tree. The Zerkwood tree. <laughs> There's no trees down here. Um, but... Oh, stock. <laughs> That's that's as much as we've found as of right now. Um, we're so questioning the Darrow, but I figured I'd give an update. Mm, it's possible that the Darrow could only lead you to them. Right. No, that should actually answer your question regarding the matter. That would be reserved for people that are committing the crime. Uh, it sounds as if you might have stumbled upon a few things, but not necessarily what the keepers are looking for. I think they are up to something else. Agreed. No. But I thought I, I thought I let you know, since that was our agreement, before I go tell them. Excellent. He leads right back. Then, uh... Was, was there something else? You seem to be hesitating to leave. There is, but there's other things I must attend to first. I, I would, if you're, with your permission, I'd like to come back in a little bit. Gives you a little look. Like, a little narrows his, his eyes. Very well. Karad! Make sure that this one is able to return, even if I'm sleeping. And uh, the or pops into existence, it kind of jumps a bit, bit and, and just kind of bows his head and kind of runs off. Then um, I'll go to the keepers of the plane and pretty much tell them the exact same thing and show them the lump of metal that we've found. Uh, Gutterock, um takes the takes the metal 
pathetic. Obsidian. Chemical chemical reagents could be done and taken from this. But I don't think this would do anything. There must be something more afoot. Continue your search. Maybe we're in we weren't looking at the right people. There may be something else down there. We shall. Um I um do you by chance have some parchment and like quill and ink? There's some notes I must make. Uh yes, and he goes off and provides you a pot of ink, quill, parchment. And then um I'll start writing two notes. Okay. Before I head back to the temper chart. Um, as you're as you're uh, walking back to because you said you were going back to Thimberchod, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Going back to Thimberchod, you uh, see the guards the normal guards are gone and you see this one doesn't really look like a guard. Uh, he's wearing this like the light overcoat, he's bare chested, there's this big old red beard, and he's standing there. You realize this is the same Yorgar that uh, uh, Thembertrog call, called out. Um, sides are, are wide when he sees you come back and he kind of gestures for you to enter. We can go to something else quick while I message you what I'm saying. In okay. The notes. <laughs> okay. Um, we can also switch channels too. Uh, but I, I think the rest of you are pretty much like taking a rest, right? Uh, doing anything I'll, else? I I kind of do, but I'll let Lasseter say something first. I I think he didn't get to go yet. Um, all I was gonna say was, um, I, I was hoping that this would count as, like, a little short rest. Um, uh, and, crap, I had one extra question for, um, what's Brokey? this base? Brokey. Oh, I forgot. Uh, who who would you rather uh be a prisoner of the the stone guard or the keepers? Neither. Incredible. <laughs> um. And uh, I will. Against my better judgment, I will um, tell Grant Duel to keep a quick eye on him while I go use the bathroom. Okay, we will actually use that as a uh, break time. All right, so I'll be back in about five minutes. Yeah. I was actually going to, instead of using the bathroom, go get a drink. But I didn't want them to know that I was going to get a drink. I also need a drink, too. So, <laughs> fair. Yeah, be back.
I'm sorry. All right, we're back. 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 Nope, nope, not yet. My ice cream scooper was not doing very good scoops. Gotta run your run it under warm water. So, mm -hmm. with with Lassiter, I imagine him taking a bit too long um, with his bathroom break, um, just trying to enjoy a drink. It's just one. But, yeah. <laughs> just, just hoping for a taste. Just sitting for, like, two minutes and then go back up. Matter of fact, I'm going to roll D4 and that's how many minutes. minutes. Yep, two, two minutes. minutes. <laughs> Everybody back? We. Oui. Syra? I'm here. All right, welcome back. Everybody's beverage refreshed. Uh, bladder just empty. Any other things that need to be done? All right. Uh, Cyber, did you have anything that you wanted to do? Um, I know we found some magic swag here, but this isn't really a magic town, per se. Um... Would I be able to pick up uh, materials to copy spells? Um, I I would say that that you might have they might have materials enough for you. They do have some magic. It's just not many magic items are produced. Not you can many need wizard reagents and, and everything. Because if I spend, if I pull an all nighter, I can copy off, copy down all these spells. Okay, there was only two. There's three. Oh, you did scroll of invisibility. Mm-hmm. They're all on the wizard spell list. I spend the majority of my money. And... All right. Uh, yeah. So, uh. Roderick, I would like you to join me down in the DM channel. Okay. Secret, secret. Secret channel. Yep, that's up. Okay, so I'm not le letting you off that easily. Easily. <laughs> I figured, but I thought I'd try. No, uh-uh. So, you walk into the cavern. And Thimbatrod is sitting there and he looks at you. I'm back so soon. My things I had to take care of happen. 
Um, the thing I wanted to ask you before is being where I'm from and the monastic tradition that I was following, you know that the undead is very unnatural to the cycle of life. Um, for and for the longest time, I didn't realize I was undead, or half dead, or whatever you want to call this state that I'm in. Um, interacting with my fellow adventurers, um, I come to realize more and more what had happened to me. It disgusts me. don't want to live this life no more. And I ask of you to eat me. It is mm. the most sincerest way I know to regain this cycle, to have an actual dragon consume me and put me back into the cycle. I've already drafted some notes for my fellow compatriots and maybe you have uh, there's that one person outside, Krat. Um, but that was his name, right? I think you said it before. Um, maybe he can deliver them and I can give him my stuff so he knows that they're, my group knows it's from me. He moves around in his pile of coins and gems and artifacts, and he brings down his head right into your face. He is two feet away from you. And he looks you over. Are you sure this is what you really want? I've, I've thought about this for a while, and... I, I was ready to just live my life like this until disgusted as I am with this until we found you. And it was like a sign to me that I had a way to right this wrong. I am prepared. He brings himself back. Karad! What does Quran say? I, sir. Help. Relieve this man of his vestments and possessions. Yes, sir. I will not eat you. He looks at Roderick. I will not eat you with all that stuff on you. That Take everything sense. off. That, that makes sense, and I'll start disrobing. Rod comes up, starts taking everything. Kind of, I don't know how he would react to a human man uh, getting himself naked. Kind of just blushing, because Roderick's in peak form. Like he's a good-looking man, and it's making Karad question something. And collect all of Roderick's. Sessions and kind of like move off to the side. He just bows. And with the big old sweep down of the mullet as just in one swallow, he picks up Roderick in his mouth and swallows him whole. Was it was it tasty, sir? I haven't got his his voice down pat yet. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> it's already been less than a day that I figured this character out. <laughs> and um, uh, he's like something about it's not very fulfilling. Well, he was just about a morsel. But the purpose 
is profound. Bye. Well, he said he had some notes. Deliver it to them. I believe they're in the Goldborn lair up in the dark like districts or something. Then be off. All right. We'll do, sir. And you just go running off. Yes. All right. Let's go join the others. Okay. Wait to take her feet. They can oh. be given to you. Becca! Well, we're back. Howdy. Okay. All right, so uh, Robert's been gone for a while. Uh, about a couple hours later, I went back. Really think that he he would be back by now. Last Is that to Lasseter? That's to Lasseter and Syra. Syra is in, engaged oh, with he's, her. He's, you're engaged with copying spells. So. Yeah. I am he's... exhausting myself. <laughs> Stool uh, is, is with the, I'm assuming you've been like with Droki this entire time, Lasseter, with uh, Ront and Stool. Who was? Roderick's not back yet. If if it's been like hours or something, I imagine I would have taken multiple breaks. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that that probably would be uh, is weird. He he probably should have been back by now. Uh, I'm gonna go check on him to see if he's back. He runs upstairs. Okay. Uh, he runs upstairs and he uh, sees kind of looking around the room uh, and and he sees this red flame flame red bearded bare chested but has a cloak on um, uh, Duragar, and he seems to be asking when the patrons for Stool. And Stool eyes widen, and he, he runs up and kind of tugs at the cloak of this Duragar. I'm 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 Stool. Duragar hands him the note and he reads it and starts crying. And he's just weeping. And he runs downstairs and bursts into the room where Lasseter, Ront, and a tied up droki are are sitting. Lasseter, I'll take care of you. Roderick told me to. There's a burger upstairs. This can be no. Uh, uh, what's your name? Stool. Calm down. <laughs> I can't understand a word that you're saying. <laughs> He grabs her hand and starts tugging at you. Uh. Okay. And and he brings you upstairs, and you see. Then he takes you to this, uh, Dur Durgar, uh, who has another note. Oh. Hello. Uh, he says, Robert told me to hand this to you. Who are you? Who is he? So who you see is this like five foot dwarf like Dorgar Dorf who for intents and purposes for the most part 
if you look to the Discord, looks exactly like this. Except on his arms, both his arms and like, but like almost towards where the chest hair is, and like going down the side, like the sides of his uh, body and stuff, are a bunch of red, what look to be red dragon scales. Um, they, for all intents and purpose, they look like that. And if you, and if you if you touch them, they are dragon scales. Um. Uh, his name is Crad Firefor. But yeah, but like he has this um, kind of almost like mohawk bun thing going on, a, a hammer tattooed just on his head right here. Eyes just burning like fire. And then, so like on the bits of his like chest hair, it's like, it's a nice bit of chest hair. And his beard and stuff. Like the ends are like tinged red, yellow, orange, and all that, almost looking like they're on fire as well. And it is Crad, everyone. Crad or Karad? Karad. Karad. Uh... The Temper Child always calls him Karad. <laughs> uh. uh... Okay, thank you. I'll read the note. What does the note say? Um, Again, I'm not putting... I'm not, yeah, he's not letting me out. All this. So the note pretty much states that um, his, uh, Roderick's interaction with group and questioning of how Roderick is kind of made him understand that he's changed like for, for a long time he didn't realize that he did this he like he just thought oh i've unlocked a new monastic tradition and stuff so all this is new like just how it's supposed to be uh but coming to realize it's not even that way um and the order the monastic uh order he was part of the way of the ascended dragon um it's very much about keep maintaining the circle of life, life and death, and all that. Um, so finding out what he was, and all, just disgusted him. Like he tried to hold it in, and all and stuff, but it just, it really unsettled him. And he was ready to live with that life, and all that until they got the crackle stew met Themberchard, which for to him, seeing a dragon here and all this stuff, is like it was like divine intervention, like this is a way for me to right this wrong. And so he went to Themberchar asking him to eat him to put Roderick back into the circle, the cycle of life. And uh, the letter he gave to Stool, like he wrote, he wrote two letters, one for Stool, one for the main group. Um, the one for Stool was m very more heartfelt, hoping he would uh, one day understand why he did this, because I know him and Stool got really close and all that, and um, try to like give him a task so he kind of stays on to it and to watch over Lassie and uh, make sure he doesn't fall off the wagon. Lasser, there is a Mykonid child that is currently attached to your leg. <laughs> There's some soft weeping and, and kind of whistling through his. Oh, God, I hate that. Oh. I was like, I knew it was going to be hard on stool. I knew this was going to come on hard on stool. And it... But not. Uh... And as the DM, I am loving this. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional damage. Emotional damage. Uh, that I caused myself. Oh, your fault. It is. I, I have no one to blame but me. Mm. <clears throat> Let me get this right. Oh, and also on a uh, crat, like, because he's not wearing a shirt. 
but he does have a little, like a small cloak on. Um, that kind of looks weird because like the air around him is a little distorted. Like like there's a heat haze on him. Um, but on, he has like normal like trousers, and, like leather pants on, and a belt. And again, on the belt there is a hand axe. Um, and some other like you see Roger the bag of holding Roger Cad that is slung against his bag. Um, on him. Some other knickknacks and uh, his hand is wrapped. Both his hands are wrapped, but you see a weird um, shard, like reddish, that looks like it's ever burning right here. I'm trying to guess what he is without you telling me what he is. Um, You'll find out. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's, it's kind of like uh, ring band laps. Uh, wraps, uh, which uh, like, I would say, uh, if Tyra ever comes up, uh, up here, but she's currently busy uh, writing things. But last year, you probably recognize this. Uh, some some clerics and spellcasters that you've known when you were in the military had these same type of things. Which it, it's weird that it has this gem, this weird burning, burning for lack of a better word, gem on the back. And it just kind of wraps around his hands, leaving his fingers free for movement, but uh, providing uh, support for grip and etc. So, let me get this right. <clears throat> Roderick felt conflicted with himself, so he decided to have a dragon eat him. He committed Tempuku, yes. In a matter of speaking. And... Uh, Dragon sent you to send us his letters. Correct. I haven't got his voice his voice down yet, so just bear with him for a moment. <laughs> yeah, it's it's probably gonna be like a session or two before yeah. I get it down. So it's just gonna be my normal voice for right now. Uh, okay. Uh, this kind of puts a little. Nick in our plans. Uh oh, and also in the letter, um he would have wrote down everything that um Thurman Chart Thurman Chard and the keeper said to him in response to him giving the information. So they know what's going on. And Crad can verify this and seems intrigued more than anything about what's going on. What are you, uh, the dragon's helper or something? I am one of the keepers of the flames, yes. Um, I was kind of delegated to do some things to help them Chard out, do some of the smith, do a lot of the smithing and stuff like that. And kind of behind the scenes. Badly. What I'm getting from you is that the flame, the flames didn't, uh, trust us to be alone. So they sent you. No, no, no. It, it's not that. It's the fact that I was asked to come bring this stuff to you. Since your friend, your fine friend right over there wasn't coming back. Um, okay, well, but, the more the merrier, I guess. Like, I, I do know what's going on, and very much willing to assist y'all if, since it sounds like the task isn't completed yet. No. No. Actually, our plan just took a step back now that our friend is dead and we have this crying child here. Um, you take him. I don't know how to deal with Crying. Hey, stool. Uh, uh, unlatches himself from Laster. Comes comes over to Grad, and he's he's probably a foot shorter than you. Um, actually, probably a foot and a half shorter than you. And he comes up to you and says, "Did you feel any pain?" No. It was very quick and painless. Then Richard's good that way. 
he he noted the reason that this was very honorable and gave him a very quick death. He uh, now uh, latches onto Karad and starts weeping. The tears I... start to evaporate. I just go back downstairs. You're, you're, or you're, upstairs. I don't know. You're, you're really warm. Yeah, I get that. Uh, oh, uh, one thing. Did the keepers say that they wanted this guy? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know if you know or not, but we have a prisoner... Upstairs, downstairs, downstairs, downstairs. Uh, and we kind of need to know what to do with him. Um, for all intents and purposes, from what uh, Roger, his name was Roger, yes, um, was saying to um, Roderick. I gotta switch over my notes too. <laughs> um, is that Droki like feels like Droki is very small fry in all this? Probably doesn't know much. Um, do what you want, but it seems like you probably don't have the right person that fully is like you have a bit, but not like a small bit of what you need and not everything. Not enough. Yeah. So. Something and nothing at the same time. Yeah. But great, great. they would they said do what they, they want with Droki, like they're not they don't want him. Oh, right. They they don't care yeah. about Droki. Uh hearing that The Stone Guard actually mentioned Droki. Yeah. Flames never mentioned Droki. Yeah. Uh bartender. Another drink, please. Uh, the bartender rolls her eyes and and it's another beverage up for you. Thank you. And I'll go upstairs, frustrated. Uh, downstairs. Downstairs, frustrated. <laughs> um, I'll try to find Syrah. I don't think I ever learned which room you were in. Oh, I was next to I was next to you to your room. That's why when I was when I was deaf, I I ah. I banished uh, Sova away so I wouldn't hear any of the uh, orc on human action. Yeah, I'll, I'll find Sarah. Ask if you're busy. I'll knock first. I'm, uh, yeah. So who is it? Who is it? Uh, I'm I'm in here studying. What's what's going on? I was asking if you were busy. I mean, I can take a, a quick break. Well, what's going on? Um, Roderick's dead. Um, <laughs> wait, 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 what? Just, Excuse me? <laughs> so nonchalantly, Roderick dead. Uh, a, a, a little Mykonid uh, appears next to last. Roderick's dead. Roderick's dead. Door. Oh, door. Sad. Very Door sad. slowly opens. Like, you see her peering up behind it. Like, excuse me. You see, you what? see Lassiter, and you see this crying Mikeid right next to him. Um, Stuhl, what's uh, he decides... what is going on? What see, is he talking about? Stuhl hands her his note. I can't believe he would just. Just do this without saying anything to any of us. I never really. What a douchebag. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> you all let him go by himself so easily. <laughs> I was nerding out with my books and papers. There were no <laughs> like, signs. Oh, no one's going to be with me. Wow, this got really easy. <laughs> There were no signs of <laughs> uh, depression or anything. He tried to hide well, it. Then again, he was like, like far sighted or whatever you would call that. I don't know. Aloof. Uh, yeah, Lasser would he, have had 
acknowledge he's, that. So. He's dipped out from the group time in here, and... In the military, we don't talk about that stuff. <laughs> we put it in a jar and swallow it. And poop it Like we don't talk about stuff. Bruno? <laughs> um, okay. Well, yeah, Roderick's dead. Uh, the... Uh, we have a new guy that apparently is going to be helping us now um, in Roderick's place. So that's nice. Um, we didn't exactly lose everything or one thing. Just we got another. So, cool beans. Wonderful debriefing. I'm going to go check on the prisoner. Uh, you keep on doing you. Oh, and here's Stool. I just nudged Stool into the door. You just pawn him <laughs> off so much. Uh, uh, suddenly, Syra, you have a mic and it attached to your leg. And I'm out. I just go go back to my room. <laughs> there you know, is, we, a, there is a cloud in the shape of Lassiter just like slowly dissipating. He ran away so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Going to get a pack of cigarettes. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. You might as well just say I'm going to get some milk. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Um But yeah, I'll go I'll go back to Roderick's room or whoever's room uh, the guy was in. He's in uh, your room. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll Are you talking about Droki? Yeah. Yeah, he's in your room. Okay. Go back to my room. Uh. Oh shit! It's just Ron now. He, he should be. Fine. And Ron, there's uh, Gage and Holly have been kind of like oh. cycling around. Okay. Go back to the room. Sit next to Ron. Stare at Droki for a bit. Meanwhile, <laughs> G- Gage is like, what happened upstairs? Expo- Exposition. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do. Oh, expert. I gotta give them that. Um. So, yeah, that just happened. Uh, They're doing a little grief counseling in Cyrus' room, if you need to partake. And Mike and it comes around the corner, attaches himself to to Holly. Say, it's a, so it's like, probably just kind of like pets his head, just like nonchalantly. <laughs> like I was gonna say, because Syrah hasn't had a big interaction with with the uh, stool. So also being kind of like, what do I do with this? What do I do with this? I was gonna say as. As stools come around the corner, you just see Silver perched on top of him, just like, here, do something with him. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. so now Stool is attached, attached to Holly, and Silver's just kind of, like, resting on his head. <laughs> you see this this ethereal owl just riding on top of him, like, what do I do? <laughs> uh, Ooh! <laughs> oh, goes, Ooh. Gage, would you let the, I think, Karad is his name. Uh, will you let Karad know that there's a free room that you can take unless he has a place of his own, of course. Stool, do you mind sharing the room? Hey, just give Stool's room away. <laughs> what? He seemed like what? a nice guy. I'll go get him. He runs upstairs with the, hat, with the owl on top of his head. Uh, coming up, up the stairs. Uh, into into the tower, Karad. What are you? What are you doing during this entire time? Having me some drinks. He uh, stool comes up and kind of like wanders up to you and says, "We we we have a I I I I I shared a room with Roderick, and if you would like, you could take his room. It's paid for." 
Well, that is kind of you. Is that is that something that you want? Are you okay with that? Mind if I stay with you? Because the spell was kind of mine. That's why I'm asking you if it's okay, because you said it was your room, too. Something tells me you saw it happen. I feel like might well, allow me a connection to Roderick. For now, I mean, not, not all the time. I, I don't want to make you too uncomfortable or anything. You're also warm. Fried mushrooms. Well, I I will definitely appreciate it, and I will. I got a cool little a few little things I can show you. I can do. Not always able to do this kind of stuff because keepers keep on frowning upon it because my difference and all of this shit. But I got a cool little trick I can show. Oh, I can show you a couple tricks that I can do. I'm, I'm excited to see it. Turns into an owl. And he, 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 he it, it, Sova kind of like flutters off of uh, the, now, and you see this, these two owls, owls right next to each other, and he starts fluttering away, and Sova follows him. He kind of stops at the stairs, kind of lands on, her, on the railing, and just hoots back at you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Silver, Silver echoes it. I was, I was gonna, I was gonna go with the um. Actually, but never mind. Doesn't matter. <laughs> well, you told them to to follow stool, and stool is now an owl. Kind of like what? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Stay on top of an owl's? <laughs> well, no, but, but technically. He shouldn't be able to turn to an owl until much later. It doesn't matter. <laughs> he also Again, has, uh, he also matter. has an AC of 150. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm like, um, actually, but it doesn't matter. He's well, only actually, level three. No, can it won't fly, matter correct. here. I know. That's what I'm like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He cares. <laughs> He's a very like, talented yeah. druid. Literally, like, Prod's mouth just... Uh, because he's never seen a Mike and do that. Because he's seen Mike and stuff because they they come through every so often and whatnot. But he's never seen one turn into them. Like, yeah, hey. yeah, you you got that on, on me. Um, that is really, I, yeah, I follow. I literally have Roger leaves to talk to the dragon. We received news that Roger is dead. <laughs> He, he leads you down to uh, Roderick and, and, and Stool's room. Um, how close are Roderick and Stool's room to, to Ront and Lassiter's? Roderick would have tried to stay away as far as he could. Okay. So it's like... Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so so Syra and Roderick are probably Ross like right across the hall from each other yeah. <laughs> while Ront and Lassiter are at the other end of the hall. <laughs> Or no, no, Cyro was right next to him. Uh, uh, I was next. To him. I was unfortunately next door. Not <laughs> that was a little gag. Uh, and uh, are you doing with anything with uh, Droki before the eight hours is up and um, um, before you all take a long rest? I was gonna suggest <clears throat> that. Uh, me and someone else go and take them to the stone guard since he does not matter they seem to have interest in him and uh, that would be our day i was gonna work through the night to copy these spells and practice and all that stuff uh so we'll just to kind of get through the rest of the day uh uh Ron throws turkey over his shoulder uh, Lasser, you lead the way, and you are able to easily hand over Jerky, all tied up to the to the stone guard. Um, Erdith thinks you thanks you. I will exposit all the details of our findings, excluding mm. things that 
did not matter to them, but to the keepers. I'll ask well, the and everything was basically, I'm just a messenger. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's really it. I just take, I, I deliver packages, deliver messages. That's it. Um, that's pretty much uh, it. In case the eight hours haven't, hasn't been up yet, I'll, I'll look to Droki and tell, tell him that all these stone guard guys are my friends and therefore you should probably um, answer all their questions as truthfully as possible as well. Clarifying your suggestion that you already made. Yeah. And, uh... Droki just yeah. kind of nods his head, his eyes still glazed it over. I mean, you got a negative one. It's got to be a severe effect. <laughs> In essence, um, he he he, ult he super critically failed. So really, this doesn't last for eight hours. It lasts for 16. <laughs> on the well, way back... Um... It's just me and Ron, right? Yep. On the way back, I'll, while walking, I'll tell Ron that I'm tired of losing people. Um, and uh, these days I haven't really been kind to me. Uh, the only way that I uh, got rid of all these pent up, pent up emotions were drinking and that kind of it was taken away from me so i don't know i i might be a bit uh annoying for a few days sorry he uh grabs you around the shoulder and just kind of like squeezes you and just walks back it's okay. He ruffles your hair. Thank you. It's, he, he also says, without Turkey in the room now, we can get down to business. Of course. All right. So you all, uh, Lasser and Ron, get back to uh, the lair. Um, the only still thing normally I say... really cuddled up to Roderick uh, every night. Um, he doesn't quite do the same with a crad. Um, they, they, there was only one bed, uh, but they, they find a... Like, friends would have, have their not really affectionate or anything. Um, but, uh, you have a nice sleep. Um, Lasser, I need you to roll me a constitution save throw. Okay. Um, Lasser, you have a great night. Tired, but, uh, you sleep like a baby. Noise. Uh, Syra, I need you to roll me a constitution saving throw. For totally different reasons. Hey. Uh, you I'm sure I know. You, you work till probably, it probably from where you ha have, it's like a, probably like four or five o'clock in the morning. Uh, yeah, probably yeah, a couple it, hours before anybody else would wake up. Because um, yeah, it, it, it takes a, it would take a total of 12 hours. I, I, can't, I, did the math, all that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So you you've been up all night. Yep. Uh, and in the morning, you're just exhausted. So you suffer from one level of exhaustion. Um, but I mean, technically, you don't really. You guys don't really have any plans at the moment. Um, uh, so. When you wake up, everybody uh, regains conscious consciousness. Uh, Lasser, you feel loose. 
and just ah, feeling good. When you wake up in the morning, um, um just to... walk in, just Karad, just you actually to... wake up uh, with uh, Mike and kind of cuddle up next to you. He's a little squishy, kind of like a teddy bear, except not as fluffy. This is weird, but all right. Um, sometime while I'm getting ready to go back upstairs, yeah. Um, I'll look to little boar cat. Is he around? Cool. Yep. Um, he's on the little I'll, table uh, that's in the room. It's kind of like just, curled up, looking at you. I'll grab my chain, necklace, or whatever, um, and ask him, "Is it okay to take this off yet?" He he looks at you. It just kind of gives you a grimacing face. Okay. Well, that answers my question, I guess. Hmm. And I'll go upstairs. Lead Ron. We need to have a group chat. I'll, I'll On the way up, I'll knock on everyone's door, telling everyone to wake up, get up. It's time for a group meeting. Um... Uh, there's a knock at everybody's door. Sarah, how do you respond? Do you respond? There's a there's a slow opening of the door. She's been she's been a prissy queen this entire time. Today, there's no hiding the dark shadows on her eyes, and the her hair is just going in every which direction. She's tired. <laughs> He's been up all night reading and practicing. And... Well, uh, Sarah, uh, you look natural. He just gives you a side glance like, uh, uh. I will murder <laughs> you. We're, we're having a group meeting uh, upstairs in the tavern part of the inn. Uh, it would be wonderful if you could join us, though I would understand if you did not. You look like you kind of need some sleep. Oh, it's fine. I'll... <laughs> yeah, She'll... well, meet you up there. She'll do her best to clean herself huh? up. Okay. <laughs> oh, was that? Huh? No. Okay. Um... I'll continue knocking on everyone's door, telling all the NPCs, get upstairs now. Not now, but at your leisure. Yada, yada, yada. Gage and Holly come out. Holly's still a little bit of a mess, but she's she just, with the swipe of her hand, uh, her hair kind of gets back into place. Um, and, oh, and, oh. She's looking as, as watery, beautiful as she normally is. I will knock on Roderick's old door. A hey, door. Stool kind of gets up, climbs over Parad if he hasn't gotten up already. And and goes and, and opens, opens up the door. All right. Hey, Stool. Hey, Lassie. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> we are having a group meeting. You and our new friend um, would is are welcome to join us. Oh. <laughs> you, you look inside and you see a completely naked dwarf. Um, Where's Ront? Uh, Ront has already had upstairs. Cool. Um... <laughs> I just stare for a few seconds. Uh, a few on. seconds too long. <laughs> uh, da, da, let's see. Well, uh, I'm not trying to make it 
obvious that I'm looking, but I'm sure I wouldn't really be good at hiding it. So what? What do I hide it? Or um, deception? Yeah, do deception. Uh, yeah, Karad, uh, you, you notice Laster at the door, and uh, he's kind of looking at you, kind of that, like, look, basically how you looked at uh, Roderick. I um, can help you with. At the same time, I'm still trying to try, trying to talk to Stool. Uh, yeah. Uh, you are welcome to join us. As up here. Right, right, right. Yeah. Come come join us for a drink and some breakfast or dinner. Do. I don't know what time it is. Uh Where see you up there. My pants? <laughs> it, does, does he get up and do that? Yeah. I, I'm starting to find my pants and put them on. So as he's saying uh, bend over as he's as he's saying um see you up there he like just looks for a bit more and then snaps out of it and then goes upstairs you say he's a dwarf he's dirt he's a, yeah dirt guard yeah oh yeah dwarf and eh. And I will just order breakfast, like a whole uh, a, a meal fit for crew. And yeah, make sure there's plenty of that oatmeal L stuff. Is that a thing here? Alright, so everybody just observe. I was the last. <laughs> you just hear this loud, like, thump. Thump up the stairs. It's just, like, dragging her ass. <laughs> I don't have the cloak. Uh, I won't have the cloak on, just the pants. And you just see me, like, um, putting my hair up in my, like, the bun from yesterday and all. So she'll. Well, I guess who's who's throwing this meeting? Like who's organizing it? <laughs> it seems like Laster is. Okay. Yeah, Kuito, uh, Quagoth, the uh, uh, Drow. Uh... At that big of a uh... meeting, just slow meeting. Dork. A regular dwarf. Or a non dwarf dwarf. Field dwarf. Uh, and a uh, Smurf Neblin. They're all kind of sitting around wondering what's going on. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so, as you all know or probably don't know, Roderick is dead. Um, he chose, he decided that this path was not right for him. Uh, and he wishes us the best. <laughs> um, here is our new guy, our new friend. His name is Karad. Karad, say hello. Um, it's Crad, 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 Ad, Ad. It's fine. Hey, for a lot future, of people have trouble speaking dwarf. For future reference, would it get on Dustin's um nerve if I continue saying Karad? 
It won't get on my nerve, but it'll get on Krav's nerve, and you might get something to the face. Great. Um, yeah, uh, um, everyone, say hello to Karad. Hi, Karad. Zyra. Nice to meet you. Hola. You see her just, like, <laughs> leaning on one hand. Her elbow, her elbow on the bar stool or on the uh, counter. Usually does it look like this, I promise. And she's like one, just her head resting in one hand, like, I'm Sarah Hawker. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. So, for the real reason of this meeting, uh, we officially have. Right away to leave here, right? um, and get to fuck. What was the name of the place? Um, they were like Grove. Yes. Um. So Sarah is like, yes, we should go now. Maybe not now. Maybe we should get like our things together, make sure we're all situated. You know, make sure it's we're good to go. What do you guys think? Karad, you're a part of the group now, so what do you think too? Well, it, it, it sounds like, like not sure how much I should say, but the the the, the um thing you had to do with for the keepers isn't quite done yet. Right. That's true. But we don't really need the keepers permission. We just need stone guards permission. We did what they needed. So unless you have a problem with us not doing what the keepers wanted. It, it is kind of important um, what were they asked you to do. I'm not, not sure how well I'm, I'm what much I'm supposed to tell you all um, about what what's going on. Are you um, keeping things from us? I don't know. Like I, I like like I said, um, I've said to um some people before i've i get put in like I'm, i do a lot of things behind the curtains i kind of know a little just of what's like what y'all doing and what's going on um but i do a lot of behind the curtains work they, they the keepers don't like me interacting with people a lot just because of like all like this stuff well if if you're a member of this group now, I mean, when we do leave, will you, will you be coming with us? Um, I I I don't I I don't I I don't I don't know. Um, depends know. on where things go with the task given to you by, or well, I'm supposed to help out now with the um, for us keepers of the flame. All right. Well, uh, this meeting just kind of became halfway pointless. We are not leaving. We have to figure. Like, I, I can't tell you. It's it's really important that you get back what was taken. Oh, do it for well, Roderick. Huh. Well, apparently Roderick liked the Keepers of the Flame. That's why he went and did the, the thing. Where it was. I'm, I'm sure it's a help. Okay. Yeah. This works. Let's, let's do what the Keepers want us to do. We can stay here for a little bit more. And once we're done with that, we can get going. How about that? Good plan. Sounds I feel good. right leaving without 
Sage and I. Our business team finished first. Everyone enjoy your breakfast. I paid good money for it. How how much was that actually? Uh, if you were getting kind of the best stuff, uh, I would say overall it's probably about ten gold. Okay, that's that's fine. And I eat everybody I and and drinks and everything. I can't say Roger kind of um left a little list of what was in this bag, um, of stuff that needs to go, uh, with my connections and stuff like that because I am. Are the keepers of the flame? See the little biblical has a symbol and all that. Um, they, I can help you sell that stuff and get a decent price. Or we'll we'll hand over the uh, the hourglass that was worth 50, 50 gold. But here, I, I think you can sell this. It doesn't seem uh, very magical. Okay, well, uh... And I guess she will also exposition what she found out about her items that she identified and... <laughs> she says, I copied those spell books, spells in my book. It took me all night. Uh, uh. And she'll, she'll conjure up a little, a little tensor's disc under, under, uh... Under stool, and just kind of hover him around a little bit. <laughs> I learned how to do that. Like, Woo. <laughs> uh, it, you, you see him draw, draw, craft some some flowers to trail uh, to trail behind him. Um. Well, meeting adjourned. Uh, uh, Karad, right? Yes. Um, maybe we should like uh, talk. I don't know. Find out <clears throat> what this thing is that we're supposed to find. Wait, wait. You don't. You don't. You don't know. Oh shit! No, I thought they. <gasps> um, shit. Oh, okay. I thought they they told you. Um, that. Ah, oh, shouldn't have told you that. Oh, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. Oh, yeah. It is too late to go back. What are we supposed to find? You're part of this group. We need to trust. Be able to trust you. Uh -huh. I don't know what, like, I mean, do you want a suggestion? Yeah. Um, you could not say what it is, just that something was stolen. There, there, yeah. There has been an, an, an item of very high worth to us keepers taken from us um, that is very important to us that we get back sooner rather than later. Was it the Grey Ghosts? It... it we... we He seems to be telling the truth. That's weird that it showed that to us. I can yeah. see that. Because it says, to DM. It, it, it DM'd in the game log, I'm sure, but <laughs> actually pinged in the, <laughs> um, in the roll 20. Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> it wasn't the Grey um, Ghost that took the item. Yeah, the item, Grey Ghost. It was, wasn't it? Uh, honestly, or, you guys don't really know. Yeah. All, all um, you know, it's stolen. You suspected that the Gregos stole it. Because of what it is. Yeah. 
we we don't know. Like we just assumed it was because we we really don't know. We took it. Um, we just assumed it was a thieves guild because this item has very high value. Haven't steered us wrong thus far. Does does Thumber Tar um okay. uh, know about this item that was taken? Yes. Okay. Right, he, he knows, like, cause it's um. No, he does not know about it. Oh, he does? Okay. That, that's right. That, yeah. I'm sorry. Do you, do you tell us no, or do you... I, uh, yeah, I was like, he doesn't know what it is. Oh, why not? I can't say. <laughs> okay. Uh... Well, that's fair, I guess. <laughs> um, Ancient Order Secrets. Uh, mm -hmm. Bartender. You have her attention. She's kind of, she's kind of looking at you now because of how many drinks you've ordered. She's like, yeah. You, uh, another one, please. Was over to tap or another mug of ale? What's the fact that you were paying so much? <laughs> <laughs> you are basically the reason she has the money to restock. <laughs> Just sit, stare at. She, where she's surprised a TV that you be. haven't fallen over because of all the drinks that you've ordered. She's actually kind of impressed. Uh, she thinks he got some strong constitution there. For a little well, human. Little Borcat is 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 uh, uh, on one of the ta tables looking at Lassiter. Pulls his eyes again. Doesn't stop you or anything. No. Just judges you. Uh, what's his name? Lassiter is doing the thing that helps him cope sadly the thing that he does to to, to to help you cope doesn't seem to be affecting you the way he usually does yeah you could just order water but instead you're ordering beer water would be cheaper yeah but the whole I, idea of drinking, as well yeah <laughs> Okay. Well, how do you suggest we, excuse me, go go about finding this thing that we don't know anything about? I don't know. I, I assuming it. that it's probably still within Grackle's tube. Um, just because the nature of the object. Um, don't know what it. Can't tell us what it looks like, or. I shouldn't tell you what it looks like. Not that I can't. I shouldn't. So you know what it looks like. I know exactly what the item is. I just shouldn't tell y'all. Um. No. No. I'll accept insight checks if anybody needs a hint. <laughs> Not going to say it's going to be an easy DC. But um, insight checks... If you need a hint, hint, because you seem to be stumped. I could be wrong. Six. I I feel like this is this Sorry, would be just for the can't think right now. Purpose. Oh, I'm I'm just I'm just gonna 
go ahead and uh but I suggest you tell us what we're looking for. Are you doing what I think you're doing? <laughs> yes. Uh uh Crad to roll me a saving throw. No wisdom, wisdom. Saving throw. What's the DC? It's fifteen. Fifteen. Dang it, and that's a divination spell, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. What type of spell is that? Enchantment. But I'm not charmed. Because I have have advantage on saving those against illusions and being charmed and paralyzed. I I am going to say this is a type of charm. Okay. Good. Because wisdom is my 8 score. But for now. Nope. Nope. You've lived in Packlestug his whole life and been part of the Keepers. He's He doesn't know much about the outside world. He's smart. But he he, 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 yeah, he's... He, he's smart. Very <laughs> squizzered. Didn't have to use... Have to look around for much of anything. Pretty safe environment. Very sheltered. Very sheltered. So, what was the suggestion again? I suggest you tell us what we're looking for. So, oh, Karad. It, it's, it's a red dragon tag. Um, thank you. Uh, the, the, yeah. Okay, yep, you just asked what it was. So. There's yep. something to work with. I'm sorry that, that that's the way that I need it, that we got it out of you, but it was necessary. Um... You may punch me if you like. I love your suggestion. <laughs> like that, I don't. I don't do like fisticuffs. Great. Uh, I gave you the chance. It. Uh, you didn't take it. I, I don't want. He said punch. So he does. He doesn't do punching. <laughs> I mean, mm-hmm. you followed the suggestion he made. So the suggestion is over. You satisfied his suggestion. Yeah. yeah. You're the, the suggestion's done. You can do whatever you want. And I know that this hat, like, I'm very much aware that I was done this again. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, pretty sure um, charmed people know that they've been charmed. I I think it says in the spell, too, that after you completed the suggestion, something like that. Um. No, it it doesn't say anything about that, but I don't know. that's That's always how I thought it worked. Um, it just says if you or any of your companions damage the target, the spell ends. Or the spell the spell ends when the subject finishes what it was asked to do. No, oh, yeah, doesn't really say. Yeah, I guess it's up to the. But I, I would still say you realize that you did something you didn't really intend to do. You know what have realized what you why did. I did it. Yeah. You okay. just suddenly blurted out what it was, and then it's probably at that point you're like, <gasps> I shouldn't have said that. Oh, I see why they don't let me out that much. But it's good that you did say it, so it's out of your system. But don't you feel no. better why they need it? And- now I'm troubled as to why they would need need a a, a, a red dragon's egg. You think? You think maybe they're trying to get rid of Chunky Boy and replace him with the new red dragon? I mean, it would take it would take years to raise a dragon like as strong as he was, but eventually, could be a goal. Or maybe they're trying to 
extort some sort of power or gain out of Thumbergrad in exchange for there's, the egg bag. There's some, like, candles and stuff on the table, right? Yeah, there's probably something. So, um, while they're doing this, I'm going to use control flames to just, like, make, like, dragons out of the flames. Like, control it and make, like, simple shapes and stuff. Just for... just because? Yeah, like, yeah, I, I'm trying not to be a part of this like, conversation right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> um... I, I don't know if you would need to, but um, uh, if you're paying attention, Laster totally pulled that idea out of his ass. Um, but I don't know. Uh, but I, I guess it's a possibility that w we don't we don't know anything really about the keepers, so. Should we try to fight? Hey, Karat. Yeah. Um. Does the do the keepers have something against um Sumber Chard? I can't say. I shouldn't say. Mm, you're really getting on my nerves, man. <laughs> I mean, technically, the worms, uh, the, the keepers of the flame, don't really have anything necessarily. Against Ember Trod? But Brad fully aware enough, is aware of what's going on and why everything is needed, so it's like he doesn't quite sure how to put it because he is very socially awkward. Um, it would just really help us a lot. If you would be open with us, I, I am sworn. Like I, it's part of the keepers thing. Like we're not supposed to like talk about it. Well, you're not a keeper. You're. I am a keeper. We're stranger right now. You're a keeper. I am. I. I'm still a keeper. Like I. I. That has not changed. I'm supposed to help you out and all, but that's not changed the fact that I am still a keeper. Do you drink? Excessively. Say it again. Excessively. What do you think I do when I'm not working? Left. Let's have. Let's have a drink on me. Multiple. Let's have multiple drinks. I'd like everybody to give me a perception check. Got to roll. <laughs> This is gonna be such a 180. My <laughs> other character has had oh. high wisdom, barely to Brad's negative one. Right, Lassiter and uh, Gage and Holly would roll too. Oh, I have forgot about Holly. My apologies. You said I, I rolled. Yeah. My role is 16. Unless you want to use my passive, then it's 20. But no. Oh, doesn't see anything. Um, so Lasser and, and Gage uh, both seem to kind of perk their and, ears up as they right. hear a... a Interesting sound coming from outside. Uh, the sounds of dragon meat. Oh. Uh. That's not good. Hey, Karat, how, how, uh, how are, uh, how often would you hear dragon wings around here? Worm says has his rounds to me. Yeah, it, it's not that uncommon. He does the thermic, the thumber char does do stuff. Like That's... he does, he doesn't just stay in his um cavern all day. 
you sure? <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Um, he must so, be right. doing his rounds. There was like he can actually fly. <laughs> not, not for long periods, but yeah. Well, like, 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 like to herself, like you can fly. <laughs> Body's too big. Not, not for long periods, <laughs> but yeah, he can. <laughs> too chonk to fly. Um, but yeah, he, he, maybe he's just out doing his rounds right now. Uh, that doesn't matter right now. I'm uh, welcoming you to have drinks with me. Okay. Cool. Bartender. Several drinks. I should know her name by now. What's her name? Glenda. Linda. Linda. <laughs> we are best friends by now. Linda, a few more drinks, please. Just a couple for now, I guess. She pours out several more drinks. We'll be drinking all day, so keep them coming. You insist? Just gonna get to know my buddy here. Uh, Stool, who's been getting water. Um, uh, Ask uh, a crowd to tell him about Timber Trap. Say what? Stool asks Crod uh, about Timber Trap. Well, what what do you want to know? You just chug him back drinks. Like, like, what's he like? What does he do? He nice. As far as red dragons go, from what I've told, I've been told, yeah, he's like he's nice. Like he he doesn't eat me. He hasn't eaten me yet, so that that's good. Are you scared um, of him? Hmm. Are you scared of him? Well, it's not that I'm just a little bit. Yeah, he's a dra ancient dragon. Like he's he's a big boy. He's an adult. Oh, adult. Sorry. Yeah, so he's an adult he's dragon. Like so it's. He's a big boy, and they're dragons. They, for the most part, do what they want. Like, if they want to eat you, they're going to eat you. There's not much that can stop you. So, there, there's a healthy fear when being around a dragon. There should always be a healthy fear of being around a dragon. Um, But for the most part, he helps. he helps me in the forge. Um, I do a lot of the smithing work. Just yeah, you would know that that the worm smith uh, basically helps keep the cities, like the entire city's forges, aflame. Um, yeah, I do a lot of um, forging for the keepers with certain equipment that they need, and all I've been doing that for. Gosh, now well, I'm only it's, uh, still pretty young, so just gotten into adulthood. So. What's your favorite color? Red. Fire red. Makes sense. Fire is life. I. I hope Timber Chod lives a long like. The Timber Chod. Roderick. Timber Chod. Yeah, sure. Roderick. He drinks from his glass of water. What's everyone else doing? Uh, They're pretty much just kind of sitting around. Uh, uh, Shushar says he's going to go back uh, for a swim. Swim in the dark lake and 
Uh, otherwise, pretty much just enjoying their meal, enjoying the drinks. Uh, Jim Jar is, is flipping a coin between his hands. Uh, and uh, in his other hand, he's kind of like playing with a deck of cards. Ront, come join us. A few drinks. Oh, Ront's, Ront's in the thick of it. Hey, he's uh, actually. Ron enjoys thoroughly. Same. Um, he's getting a little sloshed. You know, I've. Last year, you're like completely sober. Uh, you know, you you never seem to get drunk. Sadly, but Why? I'm getting there. I I promise you, I'm getting there. Did, did I roll? Because I'm drinking just as much. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll a con save. Tyra, you're passed out. I was, I was gonna it, say if was... you were if you if you were if you have like one beverage oh no i was, I was gonna I, say it's more like how quickly it's like do you get through even one before you actually just fall asleep <laughs> you're not drunk say, asleep you're just asleep <laughs> I was gonna say, it's not she, because of alcohol she, she was in the middle of, of just eating breakfast but you see her kind of like leaning forward into her bowl. And Silva's like pulling on her hair back, like no, no, no. <laughs> so, so, Silva kind of like is poking, and and hair still see this is like backwards. still, uh, still is like uh, actually Holly would kind of notice this and kind of like move the ball out of the way, just, just kind of like pat her. It'd be like, I'm gonna take her to bed. <laughs> She she picks up Syrah, just kind of like a the the just in her arms, not fireman carry, but uh, just in her arms and <laughs> takes Syrah downstairs to to bed. And so it's gonna be us. hard to drink Karad under the table. I have re advantage against poise constitution, like against poison and resistance to poison. Uh, Ron. Pass uh, after probably the six or seventh beer uh, ends up just like completely wasted. Uh, he does have a bit, little bit of constitution enough, but he's he's really sloshed. Uh, Karad seems fine. Um, and Lasser, okay. Lasser, you're impressed. It's like this is a human. He's he might have actually drink you under the table. Maybe. You're oh. you're not sure. Hasn't really shown any signs of any sort of drunkenness. You're you've gotten a little bit of signs, but you can hold your liquor pretty damn good. I'm, I'm sh I kind of imagine that I would try. He's not even stone. slurring his words even one bit. <laughs> um, what's what's with it with you? Why why haven't let you look a single bit? I'm a holy Tipsy. man. Holy, holy man, man get drunk still. Not if you're as devout as me. I'm beyond devout. Uh, Karad, you or Karad, you um, you see uh, the gold um, pseudo dragon that's kind of wrapped himself around Lasser's shoulders. Uh, somewhere along the lines here, uh, his tail kind of whips around and starts tapping the, the uh, this amulet, which looks like it has like a scale of a gold dragon on it. That oh, I, I, I do I recognize it? Like what it is? Well, you know, it, it looks like the scale of a gold dragon. That's all you know. No one's told you about this. Uh, I don't remember if Cyro identified it ever. <laughs> no. 
No one said anything about it. I'm gonna cast um tech magic. Right. Uh, just blight this up. It's very magical. It's what school of magic? Um, this is would be, I believe, adaptation. With that knowledge, could I like deduce what's going on? Um, it is definitely protecting him. You won't necessarily know how it's protecting him. Right, you probably guess uh based off of the reaction of the uh gold pseudo dragon that in in your conversation you've had here that that has something to do with the fact that Laster's not even a bit drunk he's completely sober you're 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 a cheat that's what it is you're a cheat might be a cheat but you're not being a team player I'm, I'm sorry. Wait, what, how am I not being a team player? You're on our team, but you're For less also, than a day. But you're also on their team. You you, you know, mean my family? Oh, when you put it like that, <laughs> the keepers the same as my fam my family. Like they are my family in all respects. My all my ancestors have been keepers of the flame. Because of that, I am the way I am. You sound like you need a few more drinks. Uh, meanwhile, it's it's time to go. To sleep. So while uh, Krad is getting Krag is getting drunk, Lasseter. And having this conversation, uh, 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 suspecting something, we will leave it there. We'll return to a drunken crad and Lasser and Sarah completely unconscious. <laughs> uh, in her bed, um, having been tucked in by, by Holly. But uh, that's it for today. Thank you for joining us. We will see you next Thursday. And this time, everybody will be able to hear the players. <laughs> Yay. Bye. Yay. Excuse me. Okay.